Hey, what's up guys? The Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the J. Howard McGrath Judicial Complex here in Wakefield, Rhode Island. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. Adult okay, so probation. Let's take a look inside the office here. Mission and vision. Probation and parole. The Rhode Island Department of Corrections Probation and Parole Unit will increase public safety by promoting positive change in offender behavior, successfully reintegrating offenders into society, and assisting victims of crime while upholding our core values and ethics to reduce crime, recidivism, and victimization by motivating offenders to become productive and law-abiding members of society. So that is the state of Rhode Island probation and parole mission and vision, authorized personnel only. Over here. Hi, how are you? Can I help you? Excuse me? I said, can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you because of the glass. No, I don't need any help, thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Who are you? I'm the supervisor. Who are you? Supervisor? My name is Sean. Okay. Are you here with someone, Sean? Am I here with someone? Yes. Oh, I'm here by myself. Okay, are you here to see someone? Oh, I thought you said am I here with someone. No. Are you reporting to probation? Am I reporting to probation? No. Okay. Are you a probation officer? This is the probation office. Okay, are you okay. a probation officer? No, I'm the supervisor. Okay, of okay. probation? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you recording, sir? Yeah. You need Taking to Taking some pictures recording. and video. No, no, not allowed. Not allowed? No. Why is that? Not allowed. But why is that? What's your name? It's not very nice. What was her name? <laughs> Supervisor of probation. Pictures are not allowed. Why would that be? Hey, how are you? No filming here. Not in the courthouse. No filming? No. Well, why would that be? Come to the courthouse. May I get your name and badge number, sir? I mean, yeah. 44. That's all you need. 44? Yeah. And your name? Brian Daly. Brian Daly. And yep. your name and yep. badge number, sir? Raymond Clark. Yeah. Raymond Clark? Yeah. And badge number? Right there. Right there. Okay. 91? Yeah. So you're here for probation. Oh, I was just, I'm working on a story here, so I'm, I was talking to probation. Who are you working for? I work for myself. I'm an independent journalist. Nice. Okay, you all done? No, not yet. Not yet. Not done yet. And you, you work for what department, sir? I can't see. I'm sorry. What department is that, sir? Sheriff. Rhode Island Sheriff. And Capital, you, sir? Capitol Police. Capitol Police. Okay. Okay. Mike, same thing as the area. No video taping, right? No, you can't video tape at the courthouse. Yeah. Okay. Why would that be? That's the is that a law? That's the policy here. But is that a law? That's the policy from the judge. But is it a law? That's what I'm, I'm asking if it's a law. I, I comply with all laws. I just. All right. I'll get, I'll get, get, get the boss here. They can sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to speak to the supervisor. That'd be great. All right, so let me pause the video here, whereas uh, we all know Sean's about to educate the guards now on his rights to record in that location. As we all know, Reyes likes to go to these government locations and uh, tell the people that are in charge of uh, operating that location where he can and where he cannot walk through. Now, ain't that some bullshit? Somebody off the street want to tell the people that are uh, it's their responsibility to operate that location where he can walk through and where he can't. And... And we all know uh, people like Riot Radio Girl who look up to him. Hey, wherever uh, uh, Reyes goes to, they get educated. And the next fraudster that, that goes to that location will be able to just uh, whoop, whoop, swoop right in there and record with no problems at all. And the first place I went was Allentown City Hall. And Long Island Audit did that place a year ago. And this happened to me at the last place he audited too. They're educated on the law and no one cared about a camera at all. Um, it was five floors of like nothing. There was like one office on each floor and I don't know. So I did that. So the supervisor must have called 
the sheriff here. It would be nice to know her name so we can hold her accountable, but... All right, so it would be nice to know the name of the supervisor who uh, called the officers on him and kicked them out of the probation office so that uh, he can hold her accountable, okay? And I'm sure we all know what that means. Oh, he wants her number, and uh, this way he could uh, give that info to his subscribers. And, uh, hey, we all know the supporters to the frauditors. Uh, they're worse than the frauditors. Oh, uh, they will call her. They will harass her, threaten her life. And this is what he wants this is what he uh, considers holding them accountable and this is exactly what he does okay he gets that number and he shows it on the camera what's that tell you guys okay he's giving that info to his subscribers like I'm giving it to you so that you can do what you got to do too I would hope that you call or uh, email or whatsoever like I'm going to do and let her know that not everybody sees her as an enemy for doing her job I don't think she wants that at all. She doesn't want the accountability. So I just talked to my sergeant. He's just letting me know that for order of the Superior Court judge, there's no um, recording in the law. Okay, if you, you've already been warned a couple of times to stop. So you are, you are recording. Can I get your name and badge number? Officer Anderson, 22. Yeah, no, but no one showed. Can I see the order? Um, I mean, have, I think. Here, we have this right I'm not in a courtroom, though. Yeah, I know, but I you're, not allowed, to, you're not allowed to out here as well. So I talked to my sergeant. He wants to let me know that we've warned you a couple of times. If you continue to record, we're going to detain you. Listen to me. We're going to detain you, put you in a cell block until a judge can talk to you about recording in here, okay? So that's what you're going to do if I don't stop recording? If you don't stop recording, you don't leave. Yeah. We're telling you that you cannot. We will detain you. You'll be put downstairs in the cell block until a judge later on this afternoon can see you. All right, so let me jump back in here for the last time of the video, where, in my opinion, right now is where we see that Reyes is uh, full of shit. Full of shit, okay? A half a million people believe that he is out there making some changes, right? Well, oh, what do we hear the officer tell Reyes? Hey, if you don't stop recording, we're going to detain you, and then we're going to bring you to a judge. And you're going to discuss why he didn't want to stop recording to the judge. Well, shit, half a million people. He tells him he's out there making changes. Here he has an opportunity, as we all know. Uh, there's really no recording in any courthouse that I'm aware of, okay? Uh, because judges put that order in there, right? Well, here he has an opportunity to debate a judge. And maybe, who knows, damn it, who knows? He might get that judge to modify that rule or remove that rule but the activist that he is because damn it an activist a real activist is willing to get locked up for something and that's not even locked up detained damn it detained what an hour or so okay and then you get to talk to the judge and if he doesn't swallow it hey either he kicks you loose or you maybe get an extra couple hours in a cell okay but damn it here you got a half a million people that drop shit load of money your way because you tell them you're making changes. <laughs> oh, let's see the changes that he uh, decides on. Okay, but can, you, can we just talk, can we talk outside then? Because I don't want, I, I would not want, I don't want my freedom taken from me. I don't want to be detained. So can I talk to you outside? Because this doesn't say anything about it. Oh, I'm just telling about you, you can't, you, you can go outside. I'm, I don't want to go outside with you. Yeah, but why wouldn't you want, you want, you don't want to get I'm further letting you clarification? Know that you cannot, inside this building that you cannot. Okay, if you continue to, I will detain you and put you downstairs in cell block. And then the judge from the district court will see you later on this afternoon regarding that. Okay, before I leave, can I get your name and badge number? I just did. Anderson, 22. Oh, sorry about that. I, did, I missed it. Okay. Thank you. Can I take that paper with me? I'd like to look at it. So, under threat, of, under threat of arrest, I'm leaving the building. Under threat of arrest. Under threat of arrest, under threat of arrest, he's going to leave. Holy crap. Tell me he ain't some full of shit frauditor, guys. Okay. Uh, first of all, the court officer told him what? Detain. Not arrest. Detain. Okay. Had an opportunity to debate a judge. And uh, <laughs> amazing that this guy went out like a chump. And it's amazing. More amazing to me that half a million people are willing to drop crazy money on this guy. 
No, because he's out there making changes. <laughs> hey, hey, the only changes he's willing to do is go harass people, belittle people, talk shit to people. But when here he had an opportunity to talk to somebody like uh, who has uh, the power and the authority to take the rule of no recording down, what did he do? Like the bitch that he is. <laughs> I don't want to lose my freedom. I'm out of here. Oh, little bitch-ass freedom fighter that he is. Oh.